Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a general reading. For anybody new tuning in, my name is Gabriella. Welcome to the channel. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks to me like somebody's got their eye on you. They may be thinking about coming through and approaching you. You would have caught this person's eye, but it looks like they may spend more time actually figuring out how to approach you. Like rather than just immediately doing it, they may think about it for a little bit. We're starting off with the Seven of Pentacles here. Looks like you want calm in your life. I'm seeing this be a big thing for you right now. Maybe things have gotten kind of busy and you're like, I just want to feel a sense of peace. I want to be able to relax a little bit. And that's what I'm kind of building up to right now. So yeah, if there's anything that you want to like move on from or move away from, whether this be like physically, mentally, whatever it is, I'm seeing that this is the direction that you are investing in right now. And it's definitely going to help you complete whatever this is. Something may actually be finishing up sooner than sooner than you think. Looks like there's an ending that goes along with this as well. Hmm. Okay. There may have been somebody that you needed to set boundaries with. It seemed like something that you didn't want to continue anymore. This doesn't seem like it was an immediate process. It seemed like it was something that may have felt a bit more drawn out or it took some time to happen. But I'm seeing something end and I'm seeing you get to a place where you're like, I need to set boundaries. I need to really listen to my intuition, check in here with how I'm feeling and move accordingly. So this has all been a lesson of you following your intuition and seeing how that's helping you and opening up a new chapter for you. I'm seeing a lot of things that are connected with like the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, the completion of a cycle, a new chapter beginning. So yeah, whatever this is that right now, if you are in the seven of pentacles energy, this means that like you are investing in an ending that's going to happen. This may not be something that feels painless. This may hurt a little bit or it's going to feel a bit difficult, but you feel like it's worth it to you. So you're in a place where you're like, things just need to fall into place or it's just going to take a little bit more time and then this is going to be finalized. That's going to happen. So I'm seeing you be like, and after that, I want to really move on from this situation. And I'm getting to a place where I'm like, I'm drawing the line in the sand here. Do not follow me past this point. And I'm seeing that be feeling very important to you too, where you're like really putting your foot down, really advocating for yourself, your needs, your peace. This is how you find it. This is how you create that, develop it, cultivate it. And I'm seeing what's helping you most right now is you listening to your gut, following your intuition and... This is about you starting. This is going to be a very new big chapter that you are beginning for yourself. Feeling like you can finally wipe your hands clean of something. It's going to feel like a relief. It may not feel like that immediately. Um, but whatever this Ten of Swords is that's ending, you knew that this was inevitable and it needed to come to an end. But it may have taken a bit for you to get to a place where you were like, okay, I'm finally saying something and putting my foot down like this needs to stop here. I'm not going to keep doing this anymore. And really trusting yourself as well. The Emperor, disciplined actions, moves, thinking about your future. Thinking about your dreams and your goals as well. And accomplishing them. 
I'm hearing a move to a better life. This feels like a very big step in the right direction for you. To have the emperor coming out, this is emphasizing you making a move that you feel is you really harnessing your Mars energy. The emperor, Aries, this is like, what do I need to do? How do I need to take action in a way that is going to be like compatible with my dreams, with my goals, with my visions, with where I see myself? May even be healing something with your divine masculine energy. Keep in mind, all of us have masculine energy. All of us have feminine. All of us have masculine, each and every one of us. And to have the chariot here, this is about overcoming obstacles. So you could have felt like in, in many ways, whatever situation this was that you had been going through felt like an obstacle to like a better life or an obstacle to a dream that you had or an obstacle to something that you wanted to be doing. And now I'm seeing you complete this cycle. I saw 606 when I looked up. This has been a karmic test for you to see if you would really put your foot down and put an end to something that you recognize really needed to come to an end and you taking hold, taking responsibility of your life in a big way. And these are the first steps to you following a dream or pursuing a particular life or lifestyle or life decision that you wanted to make. And with the chariot, this is this is showing that you are doing what you need to be doing right now to overcome the obstacles and essentially and eventually be successful with this and find yourself out on the other side of it. So everything is looking very good and it looks like you are right on track, right where you need to be. We are looking at Saturn, Aries, Aquarius, and Cancer here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. We stopped at 700, taking your fate into your own hands. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.